so how can I conclude this? Let's conclude with the best thing ever. When it comes to liquids, the best thing you can have is water. The best thing you can have. In fact, at the office, I keep a gallon and a half of water on my desk. I fill a bottle, a container of water uh, from my home before I leave. I keep, I keep it filled up in the refrigerator cold, and I bring it with me when I drive to work or anywhere else. I'll go into a restaurant sometimes with my canteen of water. When I leave for the day, the office, I have my canteen of water because I'm going to be drinking on the way home. You know, throughout the night, I'll have a canteen of water beside the bed. If I get thirsty, I'll drink the water. You do not get penalized for drinking water. No calories. Stay away from this stupid stuff, this smart water or vitamin and all this type of stuff. You're just taking in sugars that you don't need. Now, again, let's go back to it. I do like a lot of Gatorade. I do like vitamin waters and stuff like that. But I usually only eat those, uh, drink those when I am, um, I really need those electrolytes. And it's usually after something grueling where water really isn't enough. It's not just to hydrate myself, I need to replenish some stuff that was lost. And I feel lethargic or, you know, sometimes it's good to have a Gatorade or something when I get a headache, different things like that. So again, I do utilize these components. I am not saying no to them. I'm just saying be informed. And, and, and do things for your lifestyle. What I do ultimately might not work for you in a sense, just like, you know, uh, someone else's uh, workout. But um, the thing is our, our, our lifestyle, but the thing is you have to, you, we pick and choose things that, are, that will work, not pick and choose what we want, but pick and choose what will fit into our lifestyle and still have the mindset that you wanna change your lifestyle, you know, and your eating habits. I guarantee you, you will not starve, you know, you will not starve if you push back the plate. We, especially most people in the U.S., we are very, uh, I'll just speak for myself. I am so far from starving, it's a shame. I can miss a meal, I can miss two two days, you know. Probably feel a little tired, but I can probably miss two two meal, two days of eating and still be, and, and not feel it, you know. Um, Water is going to be the most important component. Component when you feel hungry, drink the water. I guarantee you that. Yeah, you will feel uh, not only clean, you will feel good. You know, and that's another thing. You go to these restaurants. If you want to just make this challenge, you know, start off with. Uh, I challenge you just to drink water when you go out to eat or somewhere. Don't drink. Don't be fooled by getting the wine. Don't be fooled by getting a cocktail. Don't be fooled by getting a soda or a milkshake or anything like that. Just drink water with your meal. You will feel cleaner and lighter when you complete that meal. Because see, the thing is, is that when what I noticed is when I was drinking these sugary snacks, um, I felt like I ate a meal after I drank something. After you drink something, you feel like you ate because that sugar just already went into your body and started doing this. You know, so um, I challenge you all to just drink water uh, with your meals, and then from there try to increase your water input throughout the day. Um, I've been less active this year than I have in the past. Lack of gym. I haven't even been on a bike since I wrecked the bike last year. Um, as much as I as I used to be, um, I did start kayaking, but you know I only get to do that you know once or twice a month, you know, three times in the summertime, it all depends. Um, so the biggest thing has been drinking water, drinking water, drinking water. I cannot say that enough. And water becomes really good after you start drinking it so much and not taking another stuff. You know, even some days I, you, you are, are moments you just have to force yourself, just down that canteen and fill it right back up. Every time you finish that canteen of water, fill it back up so that you have no excuse to go and pour. In fact, if you, you know, uh, I remember a friend telling me we we're talking about ugly clothes. He said, if you don't buy ugly clothes, you won't have ugly clothes. If you don't buy ice cream and the sugary drinks and snacks and things like that, the potato chips, the French fries, those are they, those are killers for me because you, you once you pop, you can't stop, as they say, you know. But if you don't buy it, you won't consume it. So if you don't have it in your house, you won't consume it. If you don't, don't be fooled by granola bar or anything like that. You think it's healthy. Everything that everyone wants to tell you is healthy, don't buy it. I'll tell you that right now because you're going to probably consume more than what the portion size says anyway. 
and um, it's, it's full of sugar. So anywho, my challenge is just for you all to drink the water, drink the water, drink the water, everything else. Uh, consume in moderation, not only consume in moderation, but figure out a way to um, figure out a, 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 a new lifestyle for yourself so you can slowly add these. Rome was not built in a day, okay? You're not just gonna start this stuff. You know, if you try to change 100% everything at one time, you're gonna fail more more times than not okay so start off slow just start off by drinking more water start off taking a walk at lunchtime and uh, you know I'll get to that in my next video so my next video is gonna be um, about working out not just food and water thank you all for watching go ahead and uh, click to the next video it'll be another 15 minutes thank you <laughs>